we're this in, is, we're in, it, things are in deep It's all now. down, it's, we're in the falling, well, it's not the climax. It's not, no. But it like, isn't really till like. We're in the act two of the play. This is the sad part of Hamilton where everyone yeah. dies. Everything's sad now. <laughs> Everything's bad. So we can just keep our morning clothes on. So now we're on to book four, which, which is called Rain. Yes. And Rain is the, made the New York Times bestseller. And it has a really high rating on Goodreads. Put a pin in it. <laughs> just think of, just we'll remember that. We'll come back that. to it when we come back to writing. Yeah. Uh, so description of Rain. Going to the Fae Plane against Jared's orders has cost Mina dearly. Her decision continues to haunt her as a new danger surfaces. The Grimms are fading. To save her family's future, Mina Grime will have to travel to the past with the help of her Fae Godmother and a magic pair of shoes. She must go to where the story first began, to the beginning of the Dark Prince's reign. But can she finish her quest before her time runs out or will she be trapped in the past forever? This opens up, this is roughly a year after Unenchanted, and it's like shortly after Mina's 17th birthday. Um, so Mina is solidly 17. Put a pin in that. Can't we be 17? <laughs> so Mina- uh -huh, That's funny for two reasons. <laughs> 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 so so Mina has the representation on the Grimms and she's like, why can't I tell everyone that they're my grandfathers? And they were time actually no, she doesn't think time travelers. She's like dimension travelers, whatever. Yeah. And um Sarah has an elephant forget me not charm and a new bell charm. Put a pin in that. <laughs> um the fires still happen, but Charlie never died in this timeline. So they do get to still live in the nice big house as opposed to their apartment. Yes. So there's this closet and Charlie keeps finding weird stuff in it. And he like flickers out of existence when he picks up a hat. We, Mina thinks it's related to the hat, but it's not. Actually, the items in the closet don't matter at all, but they keep coming up. There's a Charlie bit me joke because this book came out in like the 20 teens. So Nick, aka Nix, attends their school now and Ever is like helping him adjust. They're and connecting. They're, they're bonding. Put a pin in that. <laughs> Teague appears when Mina gives her English presentation on the Brothers Grimm and is like, don't tell anyone about the Brothers Grimm. Even though, like, he could just erase their memories. Yeah. But he doesn't do that. Um, she, like, stumbles through her presentation and then she's like, forget it. I'm going to tell everyone the truth. And she does. And he makes the room real cold and tells her that he's going to come after all her friends. And he's not going to leave her alone until she brings him the dagger. And he's going to target her loved ones. And we don't know what the dagger is. And Mina doesn't know what the dagger is. It's the MacGuffin for this book and the next book. <laughs> it's very important. It's very important. And it really should have come up sooner. It has a special name. Anyway, yeah, we'll get to that. That doesn't make sense. She cries not because she's scared, but because she misses Jared. And she thinks about that a lot. She's like, he's Jared, but he's not Jared. So... She says Teague she'll get the whatchamacallit for him. And uh, and then Constance says the dagger might be in her house somewhere, in her magic house. Um, and she tells Mina that the Grimms get stronger as they fight the Fae. So Mina's getting stronger. So Sarah has a new charm that keeps her from forgetting what happened to Charlie. Even though the only reason she forgot... So it was a case of he could have showed up and her not remember. Yeah. It's very unclear as to who does the memory erasing and when... And that's, put a pin in that. <laughs> she's like, Mina's like, you have to make Forget Me Not Charms for my friends. And she's like, I'll think about it. Um, and Nick's and Brody show up at Mina's house. And Mina almost kills them with the fire poker. And Brody's like, I want you to come to the thing at my parents' place. And be my date there. Be my date. At the country club. And he keeps calling it a thing. Um, and it doesn't say when it is. And Mina is just like, okay. Um... And he's like, I feel like I know you because I'm having dreams about you. It's going to come back like later. He's going crazy. You feel like you're going crazy and they have a very passionate kiss. The only sensual experience Shonda describes is people having passionate kisses. No, like like when Mina falls into the lake and comes out, she's like, can't take my pants off. Even mm -hmm. though they're like super cold. Won't be doing that. No. Um, no Mina's, swearing. Just we'll think about killing people. Modest is hottest. Murder? Okay. Swearing? Murder is hot. Murder is good. <laughs> anyway. Um, More on that later. <laughs> later. Um, so T, then the Teague shows up and presumably it's Teague. It might not be Teague. I'm pretty sure it's Teague. Or is it a new creature we're going to learn about in this book? Um, and 
it attacks uh, oh that's right it attacks brody and mina can call down lightning i can't believe rebecca yarrow stole this from from I Shonda know. And for when did um, red queen book. come out i have no idea but uh could, she used her magic lightning joke. power and maybe she should have copyrighted it anyway yeah. <laughs> um yeah so she scares him off and then Mina confirms that Brody's memories are real and he's not crazy. And then Nyx makes a magic concoction and he's a silly little guy. And Sarah comes back and is like, why is this in my kitchen? She can smell the fae? She can smell fae! Put a pin in that. <laughs> <laughs> so the next day, Brody shows up at Mina's house unannounced and is like, you want to go to a planning committee thing with me for the ball? Oh yeah, by the way, that's what I invited you to do. A masquerade ball at my country club. And she's like... Hmm. <laughs> Even though I'm not completing quests anymore to kill the... <sighs> yeah. She's still kind of doing quests. She's, Why? She's like, huh, this can't mean anything. Uh, so they meet Daphne and Lara playing uh, the role of the stepsisters in Cinderella. They um, have last names. They have steps and zeists. That's right. That's their last names. What could it mean? Mm -hmm. um, the grandfather clock keeps striking midnight instead of two o'clock. Mm. <laughs> um, the next day, Nan, Ever, and Mina go dress shopping, and a garbage truck uh, almost takes Nan out. And as a, there, there's like a whole little scene where like Ever tries to fly her away, but she can't get her fast enough. So Mina can't help them from the sidewalk. So she stands in front of the truck. And uses Fae Force power to blast them out of the way. She couldn't do that from the sidewalk. So she... I... She doesn't... She maybe gets hit by the truck. She falls Un into the sewers. Unclear. Teague rescues her and tells her that he's not the one who sent the truck. And is, uh, is, is upset with her for saving them instead of herself. So... Yeah, that's confusing. And pushes her up against a wall. To confront her, because that's sexy. Um, and Nan and Ever try to rescue her from the sewer, but Teague pulls her back down, and she had a premonition about this in her dreams. A new lore drop, Teague toys with the Grimms, but is most interested in the one who has the Grimoire. So apparently he can just do funky little magic things. So maybe that's why they he keep started an eye. doing funky little magic things with mm. her. And also potentially why they keep an eye on the other yeah. Grimms. So Teague bruises her throat and then leaves her for dead on the sewer. <laughs> Sexy. Sexy. Um, Mina finds Ever and Nan and Ever tells Nan that she's a pixie and they like tell them about the fae and Nan is just chill with this. She has like, she just wants, she just wants Ever to do magic tricks really actually. Yeah. Um, Which is pretty in keeping with Nan's character. That is true. Lore update, Teague turns evil when he was betrayed. So and did not just break off the marriage because he wanted to be evil. He was in a silly, goofy mood. <laughs> he was betrayed, um, and he became obsessed with opening portals to the human world and releasing reapers. Even though the reapers are set up as specifically going after the Grim, so why is he wanting to send all of them out before this point? We'll find out. <laughs> so the split happened around the time the Fae made the deal with the Grimms and the Fae used the deal to distract the Grimms from the fact that they were having some troubles with their prince. Yeah, with their with their son. With their son. He's having behavioral their, problems. He's having behavioral issues. Go go on a quest. Um and then Teague figures out that the more quests the Grimms do, the more powerful he gets. Oh, and also ever lived at the palace at this point. Which Later in the book is That's openly not... contradicted. This is not true. And Jared and Ever used to date that also doesn't really make sense. sense unless they did it. I assume that it's supposed to be like maybe they had like an in the on human again. world. Yeah, on yeah. Again, off again. I guess that would be the only time that really happened. And they used to date, but Ever is like he was never really at it. And to me, they don't try to buy a dress because Mina smells like a sewer. Keep an eye on that. <laughs> she takes a shower and her reflection disappears briefly. So now she's phasing in and out of existence. And the bulldander shows up. Remember that silly little guy? To summon Mina to <laughs> the There's so many silly little guys in this So many series. silly little guys. Um, and when they get there, they almost drown, and the door was welded shut. We'll find out who did that much later. Um, and they find an unconscious Nyx in the entryway. He was supposed to go get Mina, but he was attacked. So they make it into the, the, the godmothers. Poor Nyx. And um, the troll gives us some foreshadowing and says, Soon. Ooh. Ooh. 
foreshadowing. Um, so Nan gets a charm from my favorite Pandora's jewelry box to keep her from forgetting. And they're like, you can only have one. So you person. have to pick Nan or Brody. And she picks Nan because she's there. And um Yeah, it really didn't have to do a hard choice no, if they're I was both like, there. Well, yeah. Uh so they go into the mirror room and they meet Baynard the mouse. And they're like, it's really weird. Grims are just popping out of existence. We don't know where they are. And Thistle, like, rewinds the tape. Yeah, and another then, mouse. Another mouse. And there's some uh, fat shaming more on that later that happens. <laughs> and um, something is altering history, making the mirrors go yellow and dusty. And so Mina has to... Go back in time <laughs> to the first Thanksgiving to take turkey off the menu. I actually don't know when, where, or why. Mina gets yeah. zero directions and is like, hey, this is a bad idea. I don't want to. And they're like, if you don't, your whole family is going to stop existing. It really would have helped her. If, if they had given her some directions. We probably could have had a four book series. But no, they didn't yeah. give her any directions. Mina, say it with me runs away because <laughs> that's what she does and then ever finds her and yells at her and is like don't mess it up again put a pin in that <laughs> lots of pins um so mina wakes up smelling of fish why put a pin in that <laughs> may aka mrs wong aka amira is getting her ready for the country club I would just like to note that she's alone with Mina and she is in full Mrs. Wong. <laughs> Come back to that later. Um, so Shoemaker, the mouse, brings her, is using some sort of flesh golem and brings her her shoes. It's supposed to be a reference to like the mice and Cinderella turning into humans, but it just sounds like he's a flesh golem. Shoes are cool. They're very cool. They're glass slippers. But they have like... A, an hourglass an hourglass in their heels which tells mina really nothing yeah well they they're supposed to tell her something i don't know that she knows at that point they tell us at some point that the the shoes it like represents how much time she has left in the past to be back in time yes and she kind of assumes that she has to go back and tell the grim something which would make sense that would make sense but is that what happens no Mina dances with some people. She dances with Brody and then her shoes start to glow and she runs off because it's Cinderella and she gets transported to the Fey realm. Um, and then this Phoenix Is tries- Phoenix? I thought it was Griffins. Maybe it was, maybe I wrote it down wrong. Some sort of mythical chimera attacks her, but then another mythical chimera, either a Phoenix or a Griffin saves her. And then they transform and it's Jared slash Teague and he helps her up. He's not evil. Um, and he says he recognizes her from his dreams, and but he can't kiss her because he's betrothed to be married in three days, and he has to marry one of these 11 girls or else he'll get stripped of his title. And he's not, he's... That's actually not why he has to marry them, but that's what he says right now. Yeah. Um, and he says he hasn't married till now because he hasn't met the girl of his dreams, who's apparently Mina. So he turns back into a phoenix or a griffin, and he's like, I'm going to go add you to my list of bachelorettes. And Goodbye. She doesn't get a, she doesn't get a say And in she's this. like, wait. And then she just uh, gets you like back to the future. Yeah. Doesn't get to control when she stays there, how long she stays there. He just does. Um, and so she tells Bernie what happened. She calls Mira. Mira tells her she's about to jump again and she has to kill Teague and they may or may not meet because in the future they might not need the fair, they might not need the godmother's Yeah, so guild. Mina might come back and There's never no have curse. met Mrs. Wong. Um, so Mina gets escorted to the palace by giants who were sent by Teague. So she sees 11 other carriages, one of which is holding Ever, but Ever has long hair and looks girly. Um, why is she doing that? Why is she like that? So and, she doesn't um, work at the castle. She doesn't live or work in the castle. <laughs> so um, they like put their divergent style. All the women have to put their blood in a bowl and, and it, it does water, different things. It'll react to them. Yeah. It's like representing how much power they have. Yeah. And, and their intentions. And their intentions because Farah who's an elf, puts her blood in the water and it turns black and they're like, assassin! And then she tries to kill Teague and the fates. And Mina... Specifically Teague, though. ...protects the girls. And she, like, a bunch of knives get thrown and she, like, uses magic to hold them in place. Um, but then it's like she can't, can't drop them. And so everyone's like, 
Uh, you're you're threatening, threatening the fates. Even though she stopped the daggers. Yeah. Um, and Farah mentions a prophecy that says Teague is going to destroy them all unless he is divided and that someone else will succeed where she failed. So, um, the fates are like, you are sentenced to Reaper. Die. So they send the Reaper to go hunt her in the forest. Which yeah. seems like a really inefficient way to take care of an assassin. You know how it is. Uh, Mina puts her blood in the bowl and it makes the She's bowl worried sing. it won't do anything. Yeah. But it makes the bowl sing. Mm. Which mm. never been done before. Mm. Put a pin in that. <laughs> So the girls play monkey in the middle with Mina's magic shoes. And so Mina punches Anna Laura in the face. Anna, Anna Laura, Laura, important character. She's a gnome. Gnomes have a lot of s racial traits. We'll come back to that. Um, and Mina talks to Ever about not winning and the shoe has a crack in it. So maybe it's malfunctioning. And basically they whittle it down to eight curls. Um, Mina can't control fire with her magic we never find out why the fae can't do anything with fire um but she but can some of them can some of them can but she can make her clothes into more comfortable pajamas and she changes and it's set up in book three so it's consistent yeah consistent she changes power her clothes into a uh, little shorty shorts and a shirt that says heartbreaker on the front um teague visits her in her room and alludes to the fact that she'll need to defeat an ogre for the next test and she's like and also he comments on her shirt he's like what is a breaker of hearts <laughs> Cause he's so quirky yeah um so the next day a brownie comes to give me the clothes which is troubling because she's the only servant described so far and we've established is it also a brownie that gives her the clothes in fair or in fable it might be unclear unclear um so they go into the library they hear a lot of screaming and in the library there's an ogre and mina's like ho 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 I, I recognize this trick. He smells like onions. They never said he smelled like onions last time, but apparently that's how she knows that it's Teague slash Jared being the ogre. Because it's Shrek. Because it's Shrek. <laughs> Y'all know how Mina feels about Shrek. <laughs> so, um, Mina starts talking about Jared, which, like, makes Teague upset because he's like, who is this Jared you speak of? Um, and Mina uses fey magic to turn the book, this book she journal, takes into the grimoire so now we have part one of the time paradox mina made the grimoire he's also kind of annoyed that she used his journal she he is which like rightfully and so. like takes it back and she's like kind of mad that he took it back so he's and then then he's like how did you know the ogre was me and she's like everyone knows that royals can shift and he's like no they don't only special people know that how do you know this and she's like, I literally watched you do it whenever you turned into a Griffin Phoenix thing earlier. And he's like, oh, silly me. <laughs> so, and, and yeah, so now she's created the grimoire. Yeah. And now um, there are only four people left. Dinah, Ever, Anna Laura, and Mina. And Mina decides that maybe she doesn't have to kill Teague or interfere with her family if she can just persuade Teague to marry the right person and not turn evil. So she tries to be like, you should like pursue Ever or Dinah, the two clearly not evil people. And he's like, hmm. He's like, why are you, why are you here? And she's like, uh, to save my family, not to marry you. Oh, wait, by the way, Mina's code name in this, her alias is, wait for it, L. Cinder of the Golden, of the Land of the Golden Palace, because that was the name of the Chinese restaurant she lived above. Um, so immediately T goes to like go flirt with Anna Laura and then Mina- Because he's mad at her. Because he's mad at her. So she uses some trickery with some plants to like push them into the fountain. Um, but whenever she comes back, her shoes are gone. Why did she take them off to fight the ogre? I don't know. They're delicate. They're delicate. They were already cracked. So but also now it's like if they go back without her, it like like the timer's not out yet. But like if they went back, would they just show up like just the shoes? Just like <laughs> and they're just there. So she steals. So T took his journal back, and then she steals it back again, and then at dinner. Mina, oh, cause, sorry, because the reason why it's a grimoire is because she used it to suck the other non-Teague ogre into the book. So at dinner, Mina dumps water on Anna Laura and tells Dinah that she can't get home. And then Mina runs away from the castle and runs into Farah, who's like, be, like all like messed up because she's been fighting a reaper. Yeah, running away. And she's like, she tells Mina to run. And Mina traps the Reaper in the Grimoire because she believes in second chances. For the assassin. For the assassin. So Farrah just disappears. And Doesn't believe in second chances for the Reaper, though. Nope. So Teague finds her and asks her why she ran away. And they fight over his journal. And they, wait for it, rip it in half. 
And so Teague mends it into two separate books. Hmm. <laughs> so now we have the grimoire and the story. So we now have established enough information that there is a closed time loop paradox that Mina created the grimoire. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. The next day, they have the last test, which is a maze. That's rule of three. Rule of three. But technically, they could have ended the test at any time. Yeah. But he they, could have just picked some. He could have just picked one, but he didn't want to. So it's like a maze labyrinth, because they got to get to this tower in the middle. So the brownie that helped Mina before said that her brother took the seam ripper apart and then put it back together. So that is also how the Fae have the schematics for the seam ripper. Because Mina had a seam ripper with her. Mm-hmm. Um, Anna Laura finds Mina and says that the test will only end when one of them is left alive and she has blood all over and so she she swings a branch at she Mina and attacks her. And she starts to strangle Mina and a pharaoh appears out of nowhere and knocks her out and then disappears. Um, and then the spirit of Mina's dad comes to help her. Because he died on the human plane, but not on the fey plane. No one else has had this. And why is conundrum. he back in time? And Anna Laura has already killed Dinah and Ever is unconscious but not dead yet. Um, and whenever Mina goes to look at Dinah's shoes, her feet are there, which I think. <laughs> when she goes to look at her feet, she's like, her ah! shoes are there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she goes to go look at Dinah's corpse and he's like, my shoes. Her dad like points it out. I was like, go look at her feet. And she's like, why would she do that? And he's like, I don't know. This brings out the worst in people. And I assume that's some sort of Wizard of Oz reference. Mm. Of like taking the shoes off the That's gentlemen. not the Grim Brothers. <laughs> That's not the Grim Brothers, you silly goose. This is where Mina's dad tells her that the curse starts and ends with Mina, which doesn't make any sense. So he tells her We're if she gets some more on that. She doesn't go up in the tower, then all the Grims die. And then he's like, goodbye, and he disappears. And we never see him. Well, we see him one more time. But anyway, so she grabs Ever's unconscious body, I think, and brings her to the top of the tower to go get help. And then she runs into a gray-eyed boy, presumably Jared. They but kiss. when They kiss, but when she calls him Jared, he gets angry and pushes her away, and she realizes it's Teague. And Teague doesn't know that he's jealous of himself, essentially, yeah. right now. And Mina doesn't explain it to him. Um... And then, uh, just casually, it's mentioned that there's a drugged mist in the room, um, which slows Teague's reaction time. So Farah jumps out and stabs Teague. Stabs him! Stabby, stabby time. Um, Farah was sent to kill him. We'll find out by who later. <laughs> because the prophecy, I don't know where the prophecy came That's from. That's the prophecy she mentioned before. She came, no, no, I'm saying, but like, oh, yeah. I don't know who gave, we know, I don't think we find out who gives the prophecy. A self-fulfilling prophecy, some might say. Some might say. Um, that he would be the phase destruction. So Mina heals him. But the tip of the blade is still in his heart. How did the, the blade shatter? Uh. And it's it's made of dark magic and hatred. So now it's it's corrupted him. And it's called the Air Jad Blade. <laughs> we don't know where it came from, but we'll find out. It's e a, kind of alluded to later. E-R-J-A-D. Hmm. hmm. Now, you might be thinking, this is where T got his alter ego name from. But it's not. Because Mina kept calling the boy she loved Jared. And T wanted Mina to love him. So whenever he became two people, he named his other version Jared. Why is the blade called the Air Jet Blade? Uh. Hmm. Farrah tries to kill Teague and finish the job she was sent here to do. But Mina stops her. Can't kill Teague. <laughs> so Farah reveals that she's a godmother. And she says that she'll heal Ever and leave Teague to Mina. Which she had one job. And why have the godmothers sent Mina and Farah? Was Farah was Farah is not also a time traveler, is she? No. So the godmother should know that they have Farah there and should know there's a lot they should have told Mina, but especially this part, and they don't tell her. They didn't tell her. Teague wakes up and thinks that Mina was working with Farah to kill him, and he swears revenge on Mina's family, and Teague defenestrates her. It's my favorite word. Meets her out the window. <laughs> and she's falling. And she's like, I'm going to use the seam ripper. So she uses the seam ripper and falls through the portal and um, ends up in Germany. 
Remember how they said that the split happened around the same time that the grandmother made the house deal? house she ends up in when she's, she's in her grand, great, great, great something or other grandparents' house. And she sees Jacob and Wilhelm. And they're speaking in German. And then she's like, oh, my German isn't very good. And they're like, we speak perfect English. And so Wilhelm has a, has a cough. He probably got the consumption. And then they're like, ah, our fairy godmother. And she's like, no, I'm your granddaughter. And they're like, we don't have any children. She's like, you don't have any children yet and she somehow just pushes a bunch of fey magic into wilhelm and um uh, makes him stop coughing so he doesn't have the consumption anymore he's so he healed can, he can live um and a portal opens and fey just start coming through the portal and mina gives the quickest and dirtiest rundown of what's happening and the brothers say this is the adventure of a lifetime for librarians i don't know if the actual real brothers were librarians i don't think so they went around collecting stories yeah and then she disappears and now she's back with Brody until Teague takes his place and asks for the dagger, which she says she doesn't have. And then he just disappears. He keeps being like, where's the dagger? And then whatever she says, I don't have it. He just like disappears. He's not very persistent in that way. And he's been chasing her since for the last 200 years, but somehow didn't recognize her when she was born. I guess. And neither did anyone else. And except, Jared didn't. And Jared didn't recognize her either. And ever. Ever. It's unclear. Ever recognized her, but also doesn't recognize her. Ever makes comments like she recognized her, but then explicitly states she didn't recognize her because her code name, Else Ella Cinders, was so good. It was so good. Teague, basically, Teague became super powerful after he got stabbed by the dagger. So the fates split him in two. This will get retconned later, but as of right now, the, the, the prophecy said that he could only be stopped if he were split in two, so they split him in two. Um, and that's why they had to go to separate planes and keep Jared on the human plane. So Teague uh, says he has a surprise for me at midnight. Um, Brody takes her out on this balcony and gives her his class ring. I thought he was going to propose. I also thought he was going to propose. Which would have been wild, but no, he just gives her his class ring. There's a huge explosion at that moment, which knocks the ring off the balcony into the bushes. The old Green Mill Recycling Plant Center has been destroyed. The Godmother's HQ has blown <laughs> up! God! <laughs> no warning! No warning! Well, technically she did get a warning. Surprise at midnight. Right. Teague, from this point on, reminds me a lot of Loki. Just has a lot of little Loki traits, like murder and war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Teague attacked them with trolls and giants and ogres because me and Brody devices. go to like yeah they go to go she's like come with me so they go and ever canonically states that she didn't realize that ella was mina even though she called she started calling ella gimp back in that book back in that time i don't know anyway t targeted the guild because they tried to assassinate him fair and basically caused this whole mess yeah Bad news. This is why we're wearing morning clothes. Mrs. Wong is dead. We don't get any time to process no, this grief. she's just gone. She, she's gone. Um, it's also important to note that, you know, this is directly Teague's fault. This is directly Teague's fault. And also, you might be thinking to yourself, well, the last two people who died didn't stay dead. Bad news. She's perma-dead. She gone. She gone. She gone. So Farah is here. She's been with the Godmother's Guild this entire time. There was no foreshadowing for that. No. She's here to take responsibility for failing the assassination. And they're like, yeah, Farah, you suck. But Farah tells Mina explicitly that if Mina had not gone back in time, Mina never would have been born. That's how time ah! is. <laughs> so, uh... Constance, Mrs. Colbert herself, the muse, is the one who told Farah to go and assassinate Teague. She's they're also like, the one that told Mina to go back in time. So they're like a rogue political organization who are rebelling against the fates. Kind of. Sometimes. And really, this is all Constance's fault, but she really doesn't take any accountability for it. Teague wasn't strong enough to destroy the guild 20 years ago, but he's accumulated enough power over the past 20 years and now he can a muse, a different muse, sings over all the bodies so and burns them. we know where two of, of the nine are. And where are the other ones? We don't know. Teague stole Mina's mirror from the guild, even though we know that Jared could see her in mirrors previously, and now they're not the same person, but it's important that he took her mirror. And also, like, it's 
he's the face story and like they can see each other previously it's really unclear why he needs her mirror but he's got her well well because of the next story well yeah but 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 they but <laughs> yeah. they don't know we don't know we that. don't know that so um brody still remembers because nick's stole a forget-me-not charm and slipped it onto him from the pandora's jewelry from box pandora's, pandora's jewelry box um so all the fae except nixon ever go into hiding but then nix does go with the fairy godmothers yeah so don't worry he'll be back um and ever a apropos of nothing is like i'll be your fairy godmother yeah. now and may's all, gone but i'll take over i'll take over and they're like we'll all stop tea together and that's the end of that one rain so how the timeline works <laughs> mina is born present day roughly i don't know 19 late 1990s so she's born she grows up to be 16 and they're like you gotta go back in time wait no 17 17 and has this grim curse and is like, yeah, I'll go back in time. She goes back in time to a marriage competition with the guy who's trying to kill her and wins his heart, but then is respons responsible for him getting stabbed. She creates the book that she later has to use to save everyone or to, to complete the curse and also goes back in time and saves her grandfather's life. There. Oh, and gives them the grimoire. And gives that. them the grimoire. So... And then goes back to the present. So without her existing, her grandparents or her great great however many grandparents would not be able to have her because Wilhelm would have died, and she is Wilhelm's descendant, not Jacob's, because that's why she's Wilhelmina. Yep. Uh but if they if if they hadn't been healed, then she couldn't have been born. So it's a paradox. It's, it's a problem. One of these had to come first. Chicken or the egg? Wilhelm or Wilhelmina? Which one came first? <laughs> John is real big on reader interpretation. Uh, any quests? I mean, Cinderella. Barbie and the Twelve Dancing Princesses. <laughs> That's true. Twelve Dancing Princesses could potentially be, be argued to be in there. She uh, makes a big deal of the fact that there were 12 of them. Yeah, so it probably, it probably is meant to be some of that. Uh... I'm sure there are maze. There's there's some maze stuff that you could probably argue oh, something yeah. with a with a labyrinth or a maze. Uh, of course, the first thing that comes to mind to me is the Minotaur, but that's Greek, and we know she has light Greek interpretation, but that's not a that's not a fairy tale, so it wouldn't count towards my favorite quest. fairy tale. Divergent is in there. Uh, really, really depends on how we qualify completing the quests, and uh, we don't know how we qualify that. Thanks, story. Ha ha ha. Oh.